we are just about to start the 21 day journey and we wanted to come together and just discuss some ways that you can involve your kids and teenagers in this 21 day journey with you because that is so important. It's yes. so important to make it a family thing and it's not just mom doing her thing and dad doing his thing, but it's the family walking together and pursuing God through this 21 day journey. So we were gonna come and just share some ideas and and fig to help you figure out what will work for your family. So Jessica, tell us just some things, some of your thoughts on involving the kids and teens uh, in, in the journey. Well, uh, one idea would be, you know, to set some time aside uh, every day or at least so many times a week where you sit down with your children and read them a chapter in the Bible. Maybe it's a favorite Bible story or verse that's meant something to you that you can share with them and just take that quality time to, to read the word with them and then take a few minutes and pray with them and spend some time in prayer. Yeah, definitely. And, and I think it's good too, whether it's kids or teenagers, to talk with them and ask, what are your goals? What do you plan to do through the journey? So you might talk with them and figure out, hey, you can make a goal of reading on your own a chapter a day. And then, you know, of course, if, if it's one of those things where you want to do a family time together and read, that's awesome. But, you know, let them set some goals and some, uh, you know, some of their own plans. I think that's good too. Um, and e they can even be a part of the fasting side of it. You know, yes. I think we think if we take away their sugar, <laughs> all hell will break loose. But <laughs> I mean, that's just an easy one to say, hey, for the next 21 days, we're not going to have any candy or sugar no or fruit snacks. No fruit snacks, <laughs> or it could be pop, whatever it is. It's something simple TV. We're not going to watch TV on this day, on every Monday or whatever it may be. But I think it teaches them the concept where you're not star, you know, they're not starving. They're not, yes. uh, they might not be able to do a fast. If you're, listen. Teenagers can do it fast, but um, they want to see what you are doing and yes. you're leading by example. And, you know, at the end of the day, that's going to speak even louder probably than what you say to your kids and teens is that you're showing them what you're doing. Yes. But I definitely think that, you know, you can involve the kids and teens even in fasting. Yes. Yes. I was thinking about that um, earlier. Just even like kids you pack their lunch for school every day so maybe there's a favorite food or something mm -hmm. that they always have to have in their lunch every day that for these 21 days that they can commit to giving that up for yeah. 21 days or maybe take a bottle of water instead of a capri sun you know yeah whatever it might be just something that you can do together that incorporates you as a family and as a whole working together during this 21 day journey to just put God first and focus on what he has in store for your life. Yeah, and I think the bottom line is being intentional. All of these things take time, they take energy, mm -hmm. they take thought, um, but they're worth it. You know, I know that we all feel crazy busy sometimes, but especially during these 21 days, it's a time for us to really realize you know, this is the most important thing. And so I'm going to spend time and energy and effort and thought into this. If that means writing a scripture verse and putting it in their lunch pail, like mm -hmm. you were saying, with their lunches, I'm gonna do that. It's gonna take extra time, but I'm gonna do it because this is a way that is going to, it's seeds that you're mm -hmm. planting and that's going to bear fruit in your kids' life. And they'll remember this, you know, they'll remember those 21 days when they didn't have any fruit snacks. They will remember it. <laughs> And, but they'll also remember why they were doing it. Yes. So, so many ways that you can get your kids and teens involved, but we encourage you to do that. You know, from the teenager's perspective, they can do a lot more than we realize as far as, hey, they can make a plan. Mm -hmm. They can make a goal and they can reach that. Just this last Sunday, we set goals in the kids and, and they set their own goals as well as goals as a whole. And so, they are able to do this, so they just may need a little bit more encouragement. Yeah. But I think, like Delana said, if you set the example, they're going to want to do what mom and dad are doing. So uh, we just encourage you to do that. Yeah. So let's join this, this journey together, and let's do it with our families. And let's 
just see what God is going to do.